This video is going to be quite interesting because the footage you're about to see is from the Just Over Chris secret vault. Not really that secret, um, but I did shoot this like a year ago. I did a photo shoot with my friend Jordan, and we also took a trip out to Blockbuster, the last one in Bend, Oregon. But I never released the footage because there wasn't a lot of substance there other than just, I guess, entertainment value. Uh, I was shooting my very first ever pack film, Fuji FP100, uh, and I'd never done it before, and I was using the Polaroid 250 camera. It was mostly just me fumbling and figuring out how to do this, framing it and exposing, things like that. There wasn't a ton of direct educational value, so I kind of just scrapped the project because you guys know when I do videos, I try to add as much value as I possibly can instead of just going out and just, here's a photo shoot. I mean, you can still learn some stuff from that, and it's entertaining, um, but I, I, I don't know. For me, I just didn't quite like it. And in more recent days, I've been finding some uh, pack film, and I'm going to be doing a lot more videos, so why not use this video as a stepping stone into a few others that are coming very soon. You know the type of guy that was a jock in high school but ended up becoming a huge nerd? You know, someone that's not afraid to make a fool of themselves on the internet. And someone that likes to shoot Polaroid a little too much. Did I say huge nerd? You know, just an ordinary, everyday guy. Well, that's me. I'm just another Chris. Alright, so in today's video we got a special guest in the house. Introduce yourself. I'm Jordan. That's Jordan. He's not really talkative at the moment because I know he's kind of doing me a favor he doesn't want to do right now. <laughs> he's being my model today uh, because we're going to shoot the Polaroid 250. I'm pretty excited. He's also going to be the cameraman for some of it. Well, he's a trooper, so maybe you'll see him more often in the future, maybe? Maybe. I'm not a big fan of being on camera. So now that you said that, I'm going to give him a real close up. There we go. Nice close up of you. But don't worry, the costume you're gonna be putting on is gonna have a mask so you won't see your face. So this is FP100C, uh, which is very much expired. It expired six years ago. I don't know how it was stored, but we're gonna find out. Plus I've never shot it before, so that's a great mix. So shout out to 20th Century Camera for hooking me up with this camera. Uh, I bought one and it didn't quite work. Uh, and so I got connected with him. He tested this and everything, so I know this camera works. So shout out 20th Century Camera film crew. Awesome guy, Jeff. He makes custom cameras. This stuff is really, really expensive. Uh, it'll run you anywhere from $80 to $100 a pack because they don't make this film at all anymore. This is actually very exciting to me. <laughs> I've never done this before. On the back of this, it tells you the different temperatures you can use this in and also the development times, like how long. So it's, what, 60 degrees outside, you say? It is 57 degrees outside, so let's round it up to 60 degrees. It will take 180 seconds if I'm reading this right, for it to develop. This pack of film was, uh, I bought for $15 off of Facebook Marketplace. She said it was sitting in her, her back of her closet for many years. So we'll see if it was stored right. Typically you wanna store it in the fridge. Here's your dark slide. This is protecting the film from being exposed. Then here are the pictures. You wanna make sure when you load it, you peel these up a little bit and you place it in just like so. And they are on, on the outside, just like that. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. It's like that. And then you close her up and then you pull the tab of the dark slide. But we are good. Now the dark slide has been removed. We are ready to shoot photos. Yeah. Taking my first shot ever. Did it. So now I need to retrieve the photo. Pull it and eject it. This is the moment of truth, Jordan. Let's see if it works. Now we wait. 180 seconds. I mean, we could take another photo, but I kind of want to see if the exposure was right before I waste another one. Because I do have somewhat of exposure compensation on here. 
You can go, also go over the time limit. You don't have to do it exactly at three minutes. You can wait all day. I spent $100 on two packs. Oh my God. And then $15 on this pack. Oh, am I screwed up? I just noticed there's a dial on here that says uh, outside with flash, or outside without flash. It's on with flash. I'm definitely not using flash. Let's hope for the best. Oh, I got something. Whoa. <laughs> Dude. Dude. That's my first one. I was a little off on the framing. I got the too much feet room, not enough headroom because of the flag, but that's not bad at all. Yeah, look at my belly. I know. <laughs> that is pretty good. But also I have the negative that we'll save for later. Oh, and guess what? I'm releasing an extended version of this over on Patreon. So if you want to be a member, consider checking out, link in the description. More in depth of how I made the spacesuit and some other fun conversations Jordan and I had. So if you're into that sort of thing, maybe consider checking out the link in the description and you can join the monthly print club while you're there. We're going to Blockbuster. The last Blockbuster. The last Blockbuster. No one's in focus right now. It's not even a last Hollywood video. <laughs> yeah. They don't probably, no one knows probably what that even is. That was only a our area, I a built chain, I believe. Really? I'm pretty sure. Hollywood video. Well. They're always, always always attached to game crazies. Alright guys, let's hit the road. Let's go blockbuster. Alright, flash forward a few hours. We made it. We're here. I gotta use up this film in the Coke can. And I'm going to, I said I use up the film in this. And I'm also going to shoot photos with the Lego camera. So that's what we're going to do. Let's do it. six on the dot recording i screwed now. this up i know i did i had it on the wrong setting it's gonna be extremely dark it's not that bad but it's good oh man it looks cool kind of has like a dark like eclipse or something's going on <laughs> like the like the i guess so a little bit <laughs> yeah oh well bummer bummer take a picture of that Hopefully with the right setting this time. It's a sign. Yeah, because I don't know if Jordan knows this, but a pack of this film costs a hundred dollars. Good God. I didn't pay that, but it is. So each one is. You know worth you can take free pictures on your phone, right? Yeah, you yes, but this is more fun. <laughs> but so each of these pictures cost ten dollars. And you can't they don't make it anymore. So if you mess up, it just mess up. So that's why it hurt that one that kind of messed up. Yeah, so. bad. <laughs> you should burn a ten dollar bill. <laughs> yeah, well, and I can't just go get another one. Like I don't really, I don't really necessarily mind wasting ten dollars. It's just you can't get this anymore. Don't make it. The picture within that little small yellow. Kind of, yeah. So basically, you're trying to just line up the the two images that way. Yeah. But when you're, I'm gonna have you take one far away so it won't be as bad. You can sign and set it to infinity. He's never done this before. And it's my last shot in here, so I trust him. <laughs> no, no, it's not loaded yet. Okay. It's not loaded yet, so you're fine. Well, I mean, it's not caught. It's like holding a loaded gun. <laughs> it's a loaded oh my God. gun. Don't hit it. <laughs> and shoot this way. Okay. So you, you'll get lucky. You don't have to worry about the focusing too much. Uh -huh. Just move this. See this little dial right here? Yes. Slide this all the way over to that line. That's probably where you're going to have to be. Uh -huh. Set to infinity, basically. But... Just make sure, just move it back and forth a couple of times. You should be fine, I trust you. And then when you're ready and you think you're good, take this, pull it down, and then you're, you're cocked. And then you're ready to take the photo. Yep, that's it. You got it, I trust you. He did it, now, one one to the fun part. What? So now, see this little tab right here? Yes. Pull that out, as I just kind of pushed it back in. <laughs> <laughs> you're, what you're gonna do is you're just gonna pull that out. 
Now. Oh, now. Now, this is garbage. Okay. Now you're gonna take that one and just pull evenly. Look at that, you did it. Wow. And now we wait three minutes. Wow. Look at that. I'm so proud of you, Jordan. Your first one ever. <laughs> Probably your last. Oh, my cherry. <laughs> <laughs> cherry. <laughs> Let's check the one we just did earlier, though. Here's the one I took of the sign over there. Let's see how we did. I mean, it's just it's in there. Ooh. Ooh. Much better. It was in the shadow, so I had to really crank it. That's pretty good. I like it. I like it a lot. All right, since Jordan took the photo, he's gonna do the peeling. So just kind of do it from a corner and just an even pace, just pull. There you go, it's like that. Oh, oh right there. Okay. There you go. Oh yeah, look at that. It's not horrible, is it? Not horrible at all, Jordan. Right on. Thank look you. at that. It's good. It's pretty good. Look at that. Good job. Thanks, Chris. <laughs> we drove three and a half hours to come here. Right, Jordan? Yes, we did. And the moment we walked in, we were like, cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a boring drive, too. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing out here. It's just farmlands. There's like a couple of comic book stores we might check out. I came out here to buy sunglasses and get a membership card and take photos. That's pretty much the only reason I came out. It's just nostalgia factor. Even though I was never a big blockbuster fan anyway, I was more Hollywood video and game crazy because they were like always attached to it. I didn't go to blockbuster until I was like in high school and had my driver's license because they didn't have a... Uh blockbuster in our town it was like a couple towns over really so i only went there like a few times every time i go in one it was just expensive every, <laughs> way always, more expensive always had like all just basic titles too like no mm -hmm. obscure stuff yeah and it always smelled weird yeah <laughs> this one had a nice aroma i'm actually kind of surprised they didn't use this for captain marvel instead of just recreating one you should have because then, oh my gosh, it would have drove their business crazy. Mm -hmm. But fans is going to come out to... Even that movie was kind of terrible. Yeah, even, I was going to say, even though I don't think a lot of people like that movie. I don't. I have proof. Here's my proof. Check this out. Space Karen. <laughs> I got t-shirts of this available. Check the link in the description. But yeah, anyway, I got photos. The first pack of Peel Apart film. And Jordan got to do it for the first time ever. What would you think? Was it cool? It was a crazy process. Now we just got one in our pocket that we use for a variety of different things. I know, but you take like a hundred photos and then you'll never look at them again. At least this you'll look at again like, oh yeah, it's cool. Nah, okay. He's not into that stuff, which is fine. I like that stuff. Not as good, but cool, I guess. I, I switched over to the sunlight one. And I probably shouldn't have. That's still cool. Be the worst shot ever. But I can kind of see you over there. Um, yes, it's gonna have to do. <laughs> hey guys, you can't even see me. We're about to do a indoor sh portrait shot with the FP100, but it's 100 ISO, so it needs to stay open for a while as far as the shutter goes. So hold very still for this shot. Apparently that's all it needed. Okay, I guess you didn't have to hold still for as much as I thought. Well, let's find out. You ready for this? Oh, it's kind of, oh, well, it's a little dark. Uh, chopped your head off a little bit. <laughs> <Huh>. <laughs> um, yeah, I think we could go, let's, well, let's try another go, maybe? You up for it, Jordan? <laughs> this suit is heavy as hell. It is heavy. It makes you sweat. Hang on, let me turn up the brightness so they can see you. There, there, there's the suffering, Jordan. Suffering. Zip it up. This is what the suffer looks like. Let's see if we can go one more time. Oh. <laughs> You're just complaining. All right. I believe in you. Here we go. All right. Focus. All right, in three, two, hold still. One. All right. I might have done it. Let's hope. You're done, Jordan. 
Thank the Lord and Jesus Christ. I'm never putting this thing on again. Oh, you, you probably will. No. No. If we go to the Redwoods, we're going to need you to wear oh it. Oh, my God. And run around and do some cool shots. All right, thanks, Jordan. I appreciate your help. You're very welcome. Do you have anything to say to the fine people of the internet? It wasn't as fun or as, as short as it looked like on video. It took forever. <laughs> uh, it's been like an hour tops. Well, it felt like three. Oh my gosh. But now you're you're famous. We'll see. You're, you're famous. Look at that. I'm pissed though. <laughs> I can't get the framing right. But it's still pretty damn good. Now you got some really cool kick-ass Instagram photos. You're welcome. Thanks. I worked for it, though. <laughs> I love your lack of enthusiasm. I had a lot of fun shooting with this camera, uh, and I'm glad that I'll be able to shoot with it a little bit more. I have two more packs of the FP100, uh, and I have a few of the 669 by Polaroid. I have a feeling this stuff is just garbage it's not gonna work it's expired in 1999 right yeah 1999 maybe we'll see so i'll be doing a video on that soon so consider subscribing if you uh, want to see that and of course i busted out the slr 680 and slr sonar converted 600 camera that was new to me right around that time period when i was shooting the pack film so here are those photos <laughs> You guys like pack film do you wish it would come back i know i wish it would come back to be honest this stuff is super fun um but i don't see that happening unfortunately there's a couple of companies out there that are resurrecting some aspect of it i'm sure you guys are familiar with that i'll go into more details about that stuff in the future videos on this subject this is kind of a like i said earlier a stepping stone into this pack film era that's pretty much the last few nails in the coffin unfortunately oh man It'd be great if you come back, but it's not. <laughs> I digress. Thank you guys so much for watching. Consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. It'd mean a lot. And I'll catch you in the next video. Now get out there. Make some art. Oh, and I actually do have the Space Karen t-shirts on the website, just so you know. They're still there. I never even announced it. This was the announcement video for it, but no one saw it.